A lot of work goes into a prescribed or a controlled burn in the park. A detailed plan is made and enough certified staff must be available. The area to be burned must be examined for any hazards or issues. Specific weather conditions must be met. The burn boss then briefs the staff, splits his or her team into crews, and gives out assignments. A test burn is done to double check conditions and equipment, and if all goes well, the group starts dropping fire along a line in the designated area. The fire is closely watched and watered down if it spreads too quickly or out of the chosen area. After the fire, crews are careful to mop up or put out any burning or smoking material which could be a threat to the control lines. Staff then watches the weather and checks the burn area until the fire is completely out. Because conditions must be perfect before a burn can be done, the final decision to begin can't be made until the morning of the chosen day. This makes it hard to give advance notice to visitors. But the burns truly are necessary for the park's habitat and benefit plants, animals, and humans alike.